Oh yeah. Oh, we got a couple of good ones, man. I tell you what, these blue tilapia, they love their algae. What's going on, boys and girls? Today, we're gonna be trying something kind of cool here. Let me show you what we got going on here in the back. So if you guys aren't familiar, these are actually minnow traps. And basically what you do is you put some kind of a bread or, or whatever bait they eat, and they'll uh, get their way into these little holes here on the side. And then we can catch ourselves some live bait, hopefully some shiners. That's what we're uh, gonna be trying to get. And I have two traps here, so we're gonna try a couple things. So I got here some scale hot dog buns that we're gonna be putting in one of these traps. We're gonna rip it up into little pieces and just probably this one. And this is something that I see used very commonly uh, to catch shiners or any kind of bait, really bread. Bread works very well for like chum, bluegill, all kinds of stuff we'll eat it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and put some in here on this side and then see how this trap does. This here, ladies and gents, is dog food. Oh no, the bag. No. Dog food. So I haven't actually tried this before, um, but I hear that dog food actually does much better than the, the traditional bread for the bait trap. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna put the dog food in this one and we're gonna put the bread in this one. And so that way we can kind of see, you know, which one does better, if it makes any difference at all, or if it's just, uh, it's just a bunch of hooey. Let me go ahead and seal this one tight. And then we'll start with the dog food, I guess. So we're just gonna kind of start by pulling the dog food in here. It's a little hole at the top. And then on this one, we're gonna try the bread. This bread has been sitting in my truck for a couple days now, so it's not good for anything else. We'll use a couple pieces just to, uh, really maximize our bread potential. Uh, maybe just like one more. I'll we'll do half, we'll do half of them. Get it all the way in there. Nope. All right. So let's start with the dog food first. All right, we're gonna try to keep this low key. I really don't want anybody to see me throw out this trap. Um, we gotta be kind of inconspicuous because something like this would be very easy to steal. So I'm gonna try to put it in a spot where nobody would probably think there's a trap. <laughs> oh, I see a couple, I see some bait out there actually. What is that? Oh, that's a tilapia. That's pretty cool. So this might not be a bad spot. We'll start out right here um, in this area and just throw out the dog food here. Not too many shiners, but we'll give it a shot right here. So let's give her a toss out there. Just see if we can catch some of these little minnows that are here. I'm gonna try to put it out into a little bit deeper water. I also don't want to lose the whole thing. Ah, uh, we could do better than that. Let's give it a better toss. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just gonna tie it off to this rock and that way, you know, no one comes and takes my stuff. Tie it off to this rock and then we're gonna try to hide it with another rock so it looks inconspicuous folks that's the uh the idea okay does that look natural i guess uh eh, that should be fine no one comes back here anyway all right so we're gonna leave this one alone now we're gonna go to another lake that's literally right over there um close by these they, they share the same body of water so i'm guessing that the shiners in this lake will probably be in the other lake too but We'll see. All right, so the dog food's good to go. Let's go set up the bread trap now. All right, so we're pretty much gonna do the same thing over here with the bread that we did with the dog food, but uh, this water might be a little deeper and I'm not too sure how it's gonna go as far as the bait that we get here. I've never seen shiners in this lake, so we'll see what eats the bread, but um, both lakes are connected. So I can't imagine if there's shiners in one, there's not in the other, but let's try and get it as far as we can. Probably closer to those uh, bushes over there. Oh, well, that went terribly. Freaking knot. As soon as I threw it out, freaking giant knot formed. Yeah, that's not what we want. Good job, Jonathan. Truly professional work here. Just give it a toss. There we go, it's better. Break a piece off, 
and all we're really gonna do is tie it up to this stick grab the stick and just wedge it into here get it all tucked in there so no one grabs it and then we're just gonna put this front over it and that way it kind of hides everything and nobody steals my trap you can still kind of see the rope but it's not too bad let me try to move it a little bit there we go all right boys so the traps are all set now all we really got to do is let them soak until tomorrow and then we'll be back out here to check on them All right, boys, day two. Let's go uh, check and see if we got some bait. Hopefully we did, and uh, hopefully nobody stole my traps, because that would really suck. All right, let's go ahead and check the first one. Hopefully nobody found it. Oh, nice, I still see the rope. We should be good to go here. Oh, Ian, look, it's still there. Cool, cool. That's actually such a relief, because this spot is somewhere that people come and fish often. And now we just... Uh, bring her in slowly hopefully we got a couple it's pretty deep out there so I was, I was kind of doing a gamble there too because the other traps a lot more shallow and this one's oh look at that oh no way oh we got a couple good ones man hell yeah hold on let me put them back for a second I gotta I gotta go grab my bucket real quick there we go all right cool cool Drop them right in there. Five, six, about seven shiners. Nice, man, seven shiners with the bread. All right. Okay, cool, so now we can go check on the other trap. All right, let's take a look at the bait trap. So thankfully no one stole it yet. That's great. And uh, I guess let's pull it out. See if uh had any luck here. Pull her in slowly. Yeah, I don't see any dog food. It looks like it's all pretty much gone. Hard to say if there's even anything in there. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh no, look at that. Oh, we got a couple. Not nearly as many as the bread. All right, let's uh, count them. See how much we got here. What we got to work with. I mean, the dog food's all gone, but looks like we only got about three of them. But that's three more than we had before. Nice, nice, man. All right, let's quickly put them into the bait bucket. Okay. Bait in the bucket. So we got seven on the bread and then we got three on the dog food. That's a good amount. That's almost a dozen. All right. Bait acquired, boys. I honestly didn't expect to get anything. And that's crazy, too, because you go to any tackle shop and they charge you, you know, anywhere from 12 to like all the way to 20 bucks a dozen sometimes, depending on where you are, I guess. But that's so cool. I actually can't believe it. Um, not gonna lie, I've done this a couple times and, and more often than not, I don't get anything in the traps. So it's a miracle that this worked out for both the traps. I really didn't expect to get much. Um, no mud minnows, nothing like that, unfortunately, just the shiners, but, but hey, that's good bait. And I'd rather take a little dog food and use a little bread than pay, you know, 12 bucks for a dozen. That's like a dollar a fish. All right, well, I guess I could just take them home and freeze them, but it kind of feels like a waste. I mean, I guess I might as well just go fishing real quick see if I can catch something it's been kind of a dry spell here in South Florida so a lot of lakes and things are pretty dried up at the moment so we'll see if we can uh uh you know what I think I got an idea I know exactly where we can go to use these shiners one of my favorite little holes it's probably gonna be super dried up though yeah that's probably the move let's make the most of what we got with these shiners and uh let's go fishing boys You know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's it's a little bit of trouble to have to do it that way. Um, a cast net probably would have been a faster way to do it, but still, like you know, I think it's it's a lot more rewarding at doing this way, and it's also a lot cooler because you get to actually trap the minnows and check it the next day, and it's just they might be there, they might not, you know. 
So I don't want to waste too many of the shiners here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use two at this lake right here. See if we can't get a nice bass. And then if it doesn't work out here, we'll just go to the spillway on the far side. And then uh, more than likely we'll catch some fish over there. But we only got about 10 of those shiners to work with. So we got to make the most of them. All right, let's uh, start with this guy here. Oh no. Oh, there goes the shiner. All right, well, I guess we can just wait on this bowl, see if anything comes of it. I see these blue tilapia coming up right here, and they keep eating the algae. So I figure maybe if I can grab some of this algae here, that's kind of gross. I might actually be able to catch one of these blue tilapia. Oh, this stuff is nasty, nasty, nasty. I think if we can somehow wrap it up on the hook, and just kind of get it on there probably have a good chance of catching one of these little blue tilapia oh they got it oh there we go oh he ate the moss dude oh man that was sick i kind of want to try that again i'm not sure if he'll eat again but we can definitely give it a shot oh they got it look he's got it again make sure it's in there Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one, guys. Check that out. Choo. It's a big old blue tilapia, son. On the algae. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, man, look at the size of that tilapia. Not bad, not a bad fish. And he absolutely smoked the algae ball. Now you really wouldn't think that that's like a effective way of catching any fish, but I'll tell you what, these blue tilapia, they love their algae. So um, we may have lost the shiner, but we still got a fish out of this pond. That one still hasn't gotten hit yet, but hey man. You guys ready? Check that fish out, man. Not a bad tilapia, not a bad one at all. But yeah, just take one more look at that fella. Beautiful blue tilapia. So let's get him back in the water. That was really cool to watch. Doing good, bud? You all right? so cool just to kind of save us some time and i don't want to burn all the shiners here i think we're going to call it a wrap on this lake here and just uh, move down to the other spot a little ways over there all right so we made it out to the spillway and it is hot outside right now ladies and gentlemen um it's been hot for the past couple of weeks actually and that's why spillway is not flowing at all <laughs> oh, that's all we got to work with right now folks it's not really going far either so we still got quite a few shiners to work with, so um, I guess for starters, we'll probably try to fish that shadow line over there, just because everything else is kind of blaring out in the sun. Oh yeah. Got something decent. Whoa, that's a good bass. Oh, popped off right there. Well, you saw him. All right, well, I can't be too upset about it. Oh yeah, we got something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a catfish, boys and girls. They have a very distinct dunk, 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 dunk to them, so. Yeah, that's a decent one. Uh, it's not a bass, but it's definitely a fish. You're what you think you are. Okay, this doesn't feel like a catfish. Well, it's nowhere near as big as that first one. Not by a long shot. Sir, that's a pretty, pretty cute little guy. Nowhere near as big as that first one that we lost. But, uh, yeah, no, that's a good one. Sir, a cute little guy. See you, bud. Would be a little cichlid probably. Look at that. Oh, that one's also about to go. That's a cichlid. This line's about to. Go. No, he didn't spit it. Okay, so we got a cichlid on the ground and then a fish on this line. He's still there. Oh, this cichlid's gonna take my rod. <laughs> Woo! It's a decent gar, boys. All right, now we can take care of the cichlid. Beautiful little Mayan. Can't even believe he ate the whole shiner. 
greedy bastard. Missed a really nice pass earlier. Was that right? Yeah. Really? Wow, that's crazy. I believe it though. There's some. They get pretty big out here. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, that's another catfish, guys. Knew it. It's my worst nightmare, dude. Well, it's not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's actually a pretty good gar, man. Good lord. Yeah, that's a decent one, boys. It actually hooks pretty well. It's really hard to hook these guys, honestly. Most of the time, they just pop off. Relax, bud. Yeah, no, that's a fat boy right there. Get a load of this guy. Yeah, most of the time you don't really land these things at all. They kind of just pop right off. Since they got such a spiky mouth, you know. But yeah, real wise guy, you know. All right, I'll set him on his way. See ya, buddy. All right, let's try the far side over there with this last shiner and see if we can't pull out a bass or something. Let's check out this little grass patch, see if there's anything going on over here. He's eight. Yeah, there we go. Nice, man. Oh, he's hooked good, too. Yes. One last little fish. And it's a cichlid. Good little cichlid. Hell yeah. Thank you for playing, pal. Oh, I'm tired. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, so I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little rundown and show you that it is actually not so difficult to get your own bait. I know everybody likes to go... Um, buy their shiners most of the time but um, if you know any spots where bait fish live more often than not these little bait traps work and they're only about 20 bucks so you spend 20 bucks on that and get some bread and get as much bait as you want you know you don't have to spend 16 to 20 dollars every time you go to buy shiners and they don't even just work for shiners you can also use them for mud minnows and other things like that but yeah that went pretty well I'm glad we actually managed to catch a couple of fish with those uh, shiners and not just let them go to waste so as you guys saw, there is a little bit of setup that goes into it. You do kind of have to find the spot, get the bread, throw the bait out there, and hope no one steals your trap. But um, it's kind of worth it. It kind of is, because you think about it, every time you go out and buy shiners, you know, that's about 15, 20 bucks you're spending, when you could just be spending the money on the trap initially, and then just, you know, $2 on bread every now and then. Um, granted, it is a lot easier just to go and buy the bait. I get that. But it's also kind of cool and rewarding when you do it yourself. But if you guys take away anything from this video, just know that it isn't as difficult as you think to get your own bait. Even if you just used a cast net, which is a totally different thing, but it's it's probably even easier than what we just did. But yeah, I hope you kids learned something today. Um, that's all I really got for you for this video. You guys take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.